morning everybody how y'all doing pretty good here and welcome to the channel I want to get on here and talk a little bit about uh, exhausts uh, I'm thinking of changing the exhaust on the Tacoma to something a little bit uh, throatier in the beginning there uh, that was a cold start uh, firing up the uh, the truck with the exhaust that it currently has and that of course is just the the OEM you know stock exhaust so I want something that uh, that's a little beefier a little meatier a little throatier but I don't want something that is uh, obnoxious now you know a while back I had a Jeep where I had put a Flowmaster not a Flowmaster it was a Dynaflow uh, muffler on it and I was looking for a throatier sound, a deeper sound, and I certainly got that uh, and more. Um, that thing was so loud that you barely could have a conversation when you were sitting in it, and it had a huge drone uh, out on the road, so I wasn't real happy with that. I think I had it on for about a year, and then I ended up taking it off and putting the stock exhaust back on. Now, granted, that was a Jeep, so it had the vinyl top and wasn't exactly soundproof, but not looking for anything like that. So what I want, I guess, is something that just has like a, a throatier, deeper sound, you know, maybe kind of uh, Mustang GT-like, you know? In between, probably a, a Mustang GT sound and the Carvin exhaust that I had on the Ram Rebel. Something kind of in between there. Um, a lot of people have suggested the Borla exhaust. I don't know a lot about Borla. I mean, I've heard a few. Um, but nothing on a Tacoma, so I need, uh, I need to get some better videos, I guess, or sound clips of what the Borla exhaust sounds like on a Tacoma, specifically. Um, folks have also mentioned Flowmaster, another big name, of course, and I haven't really heard any Flowmasters, uh, again, on a Tacoma, so I need to find some videos, I suppose, that, uh, that cover both so I can get a better idea of what they sound like. Of course when you go with an exhaust you never really know what it's going to be for your ear um, until you get it and actually experience it yourself so I'll be interested to see how that works or how it sounds. The other thing that I want you know right now on the back of the truck it has exhaust that comes out on the side which again you can see over here and of course it's only single exhaust so you have nothing on the driver's side now what I really want is something that comes straight out the back that's my favorite uh, look I guess on any vehicle uh, for the exhaust exit I mean I just think it would look really cool if it had two exhaust pipes coming out of the back as opposed to off of the front now I'm only looking to do uh, cat back exhaust I'm not looking to do anything further up than that I certainly don't want to get into headers or, you know, replacing pipes further uh, further up the pike, I guess. So I'm not sure if there's some way or something out there, uh, stock, you know, or something off the shelf that I can get to enable me to have dual exhaust pipes off the back of the truck. And even if I have to go on the sides, that would be fine. That's how the Tundra was. Not my favorite, but better than uh, just a single exhaust off of the passenger side. So going to look into that a little bit, uh, a little bit more. The other thing that I want to do is I want to uh, do some mods to kind of spruce up the, the engine bay a little bit. You know, on the Tundra, I had put a, uh, a cold air intake on that, as well as a, uh, I think it was a TRD oil cap. Now that was sent to me by a subscriber which was really cool that was stinger thanks again for that um, but I want to dress up the the engine bay of the Tacoma a bit so we're gonna pop the hood and take a look around under there and, and maybe see what we can do all right we've got the hood popped as you can see behind me there and one thing I just noticed and I'd noticed this before uh, but I hadn't mentioned it on video is uh, how heavy the hood is on this truck I mean, I think, and maybe it's just because there aren't any struts or anything to aid in putting it up. Maybe that's why. But man, it feels a heck of a lot heavier than the hood ever did on the Tundra. So maybe they ought to think about putting an aluminum hood on there. 
or maybe it is already and it's it's just that heavy but just something I noticed once before and noticed again today how heavy that hood is um, let's take a look underneath hopefully we've got enough light here um, things are a little more covered in here I think or obviously a little more compact than what we had in the tundra because it was you know massive but what I'd like to do, of course, is replace the engine oil uh, cap with the TRD cap. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, and then down here, the radiator cap would be nice to replace that with a TRD cap. And then I'm thinking about some kind of a cold air intake uh, upgrade or something to dress this up a little bit. And that's really what it would be is aesthetics. Um, I don't know if it's worth the money. Like I say, I had the TRD exhaust before or I rather cold air intake uh, on the Tundra and I would definitely not recommend it for the money uh, I didn't really see any huge gains out of it people talk about a different sound you know a different note I really didn't hear any of that uh, so for me it was purely aesthetic and to spend you know four or five hundred bucks whatever that thing was uh, for just aesthetic reasons for something under the hood uh, probably was pretty excessive so I wouldn't recommend that, and probably same thing for the Tacoma. Wouldn't go with the TRD version, probably. I'm gonna have to check out the price on that. Uh, I'm not sure if it's as much as what the, the Tundra was or not, but if it's that kind of money, just not worth it. I would go something else aftermarket, uh, hopefully for a better price. But anyway, yeah, something, uh, something to replace this stock cold air intake. I just think it really dresses up the engine bay. Now, the other thing that I'm going to do, I think, is uh, is paint the engine cover here. I've seen a lot of videos, guys that have painted their engine covers. Uh, I think that would look really cool, uh, and not that difficult to do. You know, just tape off the sections you don't want, paint what you do want, take your time, of course, and come up with a good color scheme. I think, you know, the bulk of it to match the body of the truck I think would be pretty cool and then maybe uh, some kind of an offsetting color maybe a gray to kind of go with the wheels uh, that I'm gonna be getting or have already gotten here and then probably gray on the uh, lettering on it as well and that again is to try to kind of tie it into the wheels um, so that when you open the hood it, it kind of matches and I know um, obviously you're not gonna see it unless the you know the hoods open but I'll know it's there and and something kind of cool I think the other thing is the battery bracket um, I've seen a lot of different ones uh, for things that you can do and again this is aesthetics this is to dress up um, the engine bay a bit but I would like to change this battery uh, bracket here out for something else something uh, maybe a little dressier under here I think would look pretty cool uh, so I need to check into that a little bit more and then uh, Maybe any other bits and pieces, I'm not quite sure. Um, not really looking to get into hoses and that kind of thing, but you never know. If it's a, you know, a pretty drastic uh, change in appearance, might be something I'd be willing to do. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, any other ideas that I haven't mentioned? You know, little things to, to kind of dress up the engine bay here. I think it would be pretty cool. Anyway, just wanted to get on here talk about that a little bit. If you have any experience, or uh, I guess secondhand even experience with uh, exhausts on the Tacoma, let me know. Let me know what you thought and uh, maybe point me in the right direction. That would be much appreciated. That is something that I'm going to do myself since I have the lifts now in the garage. There are things that I can do like that that I probably wouldn't have done before. I did change the exhaust on the Rebel. Uh, but that was quite a chore laying underneath the truck trying to do that. I did it, but it wasn't really fun Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up Don't forget to click that subscribe button Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think and we'll see you next time on the web. Have a good day Bye